Okay, post-trib moment number 11. Here we have another doozy. Today I want to talk about Job chapter 14, verse 12. The Bible reads, So man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. So this verse is very clearly stating that those who've died will not be resurrected. They will not live again until the heavens be no more. Let me read it for you again. So man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. Now, what we have here is a man that is non-dispensational, and he even brags about it on his website, that they are non-dispensational. And uh, if you want to go in your Bible to first, I'm sorry, Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You are commanded to rightly divide the word of truth, and if you do not, then you are a workman that needeth to be ashamed. See? When you rightly divide the word, then you're a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. But when you don't, then you need to be ashamed. And that's exactly what this little novice preacher is. He needs to be ashamed of himself. This guy can't expound scripture to save his life. Alright? Let me show you here. He says, oh, Job, Job is doctrine for us today. Oh, really? Let me just show you something interesting. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Okay? Paul here, speaking about the gospel that we have received, all right? The gospel that was not around for Job, okay? Job is in the Old Testament. They were sacrificing animals back then for their sins, to cover their sins, okay? Their sins were not paid for till Calvary. You know, this isn't rocket science, folks. Nobody sacrifices animals right now to pay for their sins. Okay? But here it goes down in here into the resurrection. All right? And we'll talk more about that later in another video. But it's talking about the resurrection. And he's showing here that things have changed. Now, let me show you something here. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery mystery oh no this is the same thing that's going on back there in Job this is the same thing that's happening back there no it isn't you see back in the Old Testament when they died they would go into the ground and they would sleep why because they were waiting for the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ okay you say prove it okay I will Luke chapter 16 Okay, there's a certain man, rich man clothed in purple and all that stuff, a certain beggar named Lazarus, and he dies. Okay, and look what happens. It came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Where were they? They were down in the earth. Why? Because that's where they had to go before the crucifixion. Okay? Before Jesus died on the cross to pay for the sins of the people in the Old Testament. Jesus is, or I'm sorry, in the book of Job it's talking about the Jews in the Old Testament that had to sleep. Okay? That, that's what it's talking about there. Alright? Again, non-dispensational people like this get the Bible all mixed up. He's a workman that needs to be ashamed. All right, it's, it's just so plain. I don't, I don't understand how you can mess this stuff up. But let me show you something else here. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Okay. It says, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Hmm. Up here in verse 6, Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, alive on this earth, we are absent from the Lord. Okay? Here is what, when you are living here on the earth, you are absent from the Lord. When you are absent from the body on this earth, you are present with the Lord. A saint, a Christian, right now, goes immediately to heaven at death. 
Now their body stays in the ground. That's what comes up at the resurrection. That comes up at the rapture. All right. That's when the corruptible becomes incorruptible. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. But this right here proves that a saint right now goes to immediately to heaven. Back in the book of Job, they went into the ground. The blood was not available to pay for their sins. Okay. Steve Anderson cannot understand this because he is non-dispensational. He is a lying, false prophet. Prophet.